Hello YouTube, Ben B998 here, and welcome back to Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal P.I. Today we're going to be going back to Evergreen Lane for another ghost investigation, so let's check it out. I received a call a few days back from the homeowners who believe their house is haunted. They catch a glimpse of someone or something out of the corner of their eye, which disappears about as quickly as it appears. It seems like the entire family has noticed this at one time or another. They stated seeing this figure throughout their house, primarily as the family is watching television. It'll enter their peripheral vision from another room. Initially, they didn't believe what they were seeing, but soon became convinced when everyone was witnessing the same thing. At first, this was very startling for them, but now they are more curious if anything. They want to understand what they are seeing. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. All right, let's go check out this new investigation. So this is the same house from the first episode, but from my understanding, it's a brand new ghost. Apparently, it is haunting them as they're watching TV, so I'm going to guess that means we probably are in the room where it's going to be a occurrence, where there will be an occurrence, I should say. Uh, family said that they were only seeing it out like the corner of their eye kind of thing. It immediately gives me thoughts about maybe being a shadow person. Um, let's see, do we have any notes? The family has seen the figure on the main floor of the house. Okay. Alright, so EMF doesn't seem to be too bad right now. Seeing like occasional like... Oh, right here. Somewhere... Oh! MF2, right where I'm standing. Right on the TV. It seems to be around the TV. It's constant EMF readings near the TV. Maybe we should try talking to it. Let's see how the temperature is like. Oh. Cold spot right in here. Right in the bathroom. It temperature is going all over the place in here. I wonder why I'm not getting any evidence here. So for those who haven't seen the first episode and don't know how this game works, essentially the game kind of writes down your notes and your data as you run across it. All you have to do is encounter the events. So like right now, the thermometer is going crazy, which should make it so he writes down, oh, temperature was acting up, but it doesn't seem like he's doing it. So apparently that's not substantial evidence. Let's try talking to it. If we can get some uh, audio pickups from the ghost. Here. Whoa, 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 picture. Oh, yeah, to take a photo of a ghost. oh man, what was that? Oh, that gave me chills, holy. Uh, let's ask it some questions. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is this your home? I don't think it wants to talk. I just heard something. Who is that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Yeah, there's some yelling or echoes or something. All right, so it says here that we have gotten one piece of audio evidence, a photo which seems to be a shadow person, which I believe is in, under intelligent. Yes, shadow people. They seem to interact with EMF and temperature sensor in almost a playful manner. Disembodied voices are often recorded, but never as an EVP has been captured. Okay, so it won't talk to us but we can capture the disembodied voices, and it also seems to like to mess with the EMFs. So we need to focus on getting temperature and EMF. Whoa, 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 whoa. Looked away for just a second, just slammed this door. Okay, it seems to be just messing with me then. Oh, EMF. Oh, there it goes. Pick that up. Very distant. Voices. Whoa. Wait, where is it? Right here. 
EMF two. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how to help. Okay. Wow, that's great audio evidence. Yeah, I'd say so. And more chills. We already have one photo evidence. I want to say we need one more. What was that? That was a very unusual noise. I will keep that as evidence. All right, yeah, we got two pieces of audio evidence. We need one more, I think. Okay, I do have three pieces of audio evidence. Okay, cool. Um, More pictures would be great. It keeps turning on. It's in this room. Whoa, it's definitely in this room. Okay. All right, that's two pieces of uh, photo evidence then. That might be the only picture we need. So I think what we need is temperature. 69.6 .6 seems to be average. So we need to find a cold spot. Anything in the closet? Oh, right in here. It's dancing a little bit. But it doesn't seem to be adding any temperature data. Uh, let's see here. They seem to be... Okay, right. Body voices. EMF and temperature. Okay. Oh, it's very cold in here. Also hearing the squeaking footsteps. I'm finding cold rooms and cold spots, but it doesn't seem like the game wants to grab it as evidence. Whoa, 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 what? Did it turn off the light? Yeah, my five right around. Oh, oh. These lights are acting funny. Yeah. Investigating. Yeah, that went up all the way to five. Oh. It spiked yeah, there for a second as well. This way. This is paranormal. Yeah. Oh yeah, right around, right around here. Yeah, my five. I think when it comes to the cold spots, it really wants some very low temperatures. It gets a little cold in here, a little cold in the bathroom, but nothing extremely cold. It just turned. Oh, mm, these temperatures yep. are unusual. Very cold. Okay. It turned on, or yeah, it turned on the light, and then the temperature went nutty. All right, so I think we have enough EMF data. We have enough uh, audio and photo, but I do believe we're gonna need some more temperature. Something is oh, going on here. That being said, These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paranormal, paranormal. Can't be explained in a picture. I actually think we have enough evidence. Yes, I said we have enough evidence. Um, I do want to get a good look at him again, though. He's creepy. The Shadow Man. He's very creepy. And also the screaming that he does really creeps me out, and I kind of want to get another good... Uh... Hey? Um, I want another good look at him. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Once again, turn off all the frickin' lights that he keeps flickering on. <laughs> okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. See ya. Open the door. Thank you. And it looks like we had a perfect, another perfect uh, investigation here. Ooh, that one was creepy. That one was really creepy. I loved it. The Shadow Man. All right, guys, I'll wrap up another episode of Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal P.I., this game is scary. I love it. It's just the right amount of realism. It gives me that realistic feel that that uh, Phasmophobia doesn't give me. Phasmophobia feels like a game. This feels like an experience, a more immersive experience. So once again, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.